Let it go, let it go. I will shut up and just review. Hey everybody, I'm 22 Tiger Dude. I'm here to review Disney's Frozen. It has the voice talents of Kristen Bell, Josh Gad, and Adina Menzel. The directors are Jennifer Lee and Chris Buck. We all gotta love Disney right. I apologize for my singing, but Frozen really was a film I was so excited about because it is Disney, and you hear that it's going to go into that classic Disney route where they're singing, and it just pays a homage to that, which I thought was fantastic. The story to Disney's Frozen is that Anna, Kristoff, Olaf the Snowman, and the reindeer, they have to go on this journey to go find Anna's sister, Elsa, who has icy power. She can't control them, and she doesn't want to go back. And so, because of Elsa's out-of-control icy powers, she's now turned the whole town into eternal winter. And it's not going to stop unless they try to reverse something for eternal winter to be gone. This film has so many great reviews. After seeing Disney's Frozen, I was underwhelmed. I love Disney. Come on, who doesn't love Disney? I love movies like Beauty and the Beast, The Lion King, Tarzan, Tangled. Disney's made some very great animation films that just really bring you into a happy place. My problems with Frozen is the pacing. It just rushes things one after another, after another, after another. When the movie begins, it feels rushed. When the movie is still progressing, it's still feeling rushed. The majority of the film feels rushed to me. It was really hard for me to get into Frozen. It distracted me a whole lot. There is some good in Frozen. Wow, the animation is fantastic. It looks so beautiful. It is so colorful. I could never take my eyes off this film because of its animation. It was like the real eye candy to me. The music is fantastic. It's really good. But here's another problem. The musical numbers were rushed. It feels like they were rushing out of nowhere. And I gotta say, when they just start singing out of nowhere, most of the time, it feels really out of place. Like, they're all like, I want to see, do you want my bread? You could see me down here. Do you want to eat my bread? I'm just making up those lyrics, by the way. But... <laughs> Yeah, they, they talk and all of a sudden they start singing. Disney films have done that, but it's really worked. And Frozen, I think because of its rush pacing and pretty weak storyline, it was just kind of hard to get happy with the musical numbers. I love the musical number, Let It Go. It's fantastic. I love the song For the First Time in Forever. And even though most of the musical numbers were rushed, they were really good, and this film does have some funny moments. I cared about the reindeer, I cared about all of the snowman, and I honestly cared about Elsa because you just feel so bad for her because she doesn't want to hurt anybody. She can't control her icy powers. So when I don't care for a lot of characters, that makes me feel sad. But Elsa is the one I really felt for. I really connected with Elsa, with Olaf the Snowman, and the reindeer. Anna, she's the awkward one. She's voiced by Kristen Bell. Beautiful actress. She did a really good job voicing Anna. I just didn't care about Anna. She's kind of cute in a few moments, but overall, I just didn't find any reason to connect with the character. Same thing with Kristoff. I was a little bored with this film as well. I thought the finale of the film was pretty good too, but once again, that was rushed, and when the finale tries to get all dark and emotional, I just had a hard time connecting with it because of the overall rush pacing, and it seemed that at the last minute, the film wanted to add a villain. Like how they did the twist of it was impressive. I will give credit for that. 
But I gotta say, it was kind of weird, and I felt like they had to find a reason to put a villain in there, even though this film really did not need a villain, to be honest. The positives with Frozen is that there were some genuinely clever laughs in here. What I actually thought was really clever about Frozen is that this is not your ordinary princess story. This film has two princesses. This is so different. It's not your typical finding your true love. This film is actually more about caring for your siblings, love your siblings, and this film sets out that message so well, and it was so clever, and I gotta say, that was really impressive of Frozen to actually do that. That was my favorite aspects of this film, actually caught my attention, and surprised me a bit and actually caught me off guard a little bit. That was really interesting to actually do that. The different princess story I really enjoyed. The animation is glorious. There are some funny moments. Olaf was really awesome here. The reindeer is awesome here. Elsa's awesome here. I did like the trolls that were in this film. I kind of enjoyed those characters. You know, they were just cute characters to look at. Overall, Frozen is a Disney animated film. I was really excited to see. I was disappointed with this film. I was underwhelmed by this film. It could have had a better storyline. It could have had a better pacing, most definitely. Better pacing with musical numbers as well. Not add a villain at the very last minute. That just felt really off to me. It's an entertaining animated film at best, but Frozen just left me feeling cold. I am going to give Disney's Frozen two and a half out of four stars. Do you want to build a snowman? No. I don't want to build a snowman. Subscribe to my channel, comment your opinion on this film, like and share this video, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!